Well, first of all, I wanted to point out that there is an emphasis. I've tried to have an emphasis on the psychosocial and sociocultural determinants of health from the epidemiologic point of view, and then a somewhat reduced emphasis of the traditional aspects of epidemiology, and then also a reduced emphasis on the purely medical model and a reduced emphasis on disease focus. And then in addition, my book has several chapters that aren't um, available or emphasize as strongly in other textbooks. For example, molecular and genetic epidemiology, a dedicated chapter on psychosocial epidemiology, and then a dedicated chapter on occupational and environmental health. We'll have the same structure and organization as previous editions of the book. However, there are some departures from the previous edition that I believe are enhancements to the book, and that is in the way that the learning objectives are phrased. So I've changed those to make them more uh, challenging to the students rather than to merely re reiterate or rehash materials. And then uh, secondly, I've made the introduction, changed all of the introductions so that they direct the students to what will be covered in the textbook, but actually not give specific content information in the introduction itself. So I think uh, the students will find that to be a helpful enhancement to the textbook. We've added a brand new chapter on epidemiology and policy. And one of my concerns in the chapter is to talk about evidence-based policy and the role of epidemiologists in development of policy. What special skills that do they have that could be implemented? And then in addition, all of the figures and the mater dated material has been thoroughly updated to the most recent information. And we've included many new case studies, like for example, on issues that people are really concerned about nowadays. The opioid epidemic, vaping, e-cigarettes, gun violence, suicide, and other topics that are of interest to today's students and instructors. Well, I've tried to introduce some of the new, many new innovations in data collection. For example, the current edition includes material on the concept of big data and how that can be used to analyze um, for epidemiologic trends. And then I have included other data sources, many other data sources, especially those related to electronic data and online internet data sources. Mm -hmm.